This is Auschwitz, situated in Poland. 60 years ago, one of the largest concentration camps was built here. Six million innocent people perished. 200 young people across London had the honourable privilege to visit Auschwitz and relive a smidge of what was experienced. This opportunity came about through taking part in the LFA project, Lessons from Auschwitz. We attended three seminars where we learnt about the Holocaust in depth and the history behind it. We learnt about the hardship of life before the Holocaust, the trauma of the Holocaust and the destruction after the Holocaust. This is, is our, our story. story. Okay, we're walking to one of the sites in Auschwitz. It's going to be sad. Yeah. What are you thinking, Zizi? It's freezing. Okay. It's expected to be this cold. Um, can't wait to like find out more information about what's happening in Auschwitz. These are the conditions that the Jews have to go through with being tortured, humiliated. We're cold and we think it's freezing and we've got like a million names on and I just wonder, they were even like some of these suits. Phoebe, how are you feeling? Well, um, she's told us about what happened to the Jews and I'm just sad how they've all gone now. This is their culture and how they've all disappeared, this is what Hitler wanted. And I think this could have all been prevented, to be honest, but it's sad that it hasn't. And now this is a place where no Jews exist. It's so depressing hearing these stories of how the Jews were exterminated. It's horrible saying how they were going to get decontaminated, but they actually were on their way to death. I can't believe this happened. These were the toilets, and it wasn't one hole per person, it was about one hole per three, four different people. And one of the survivors that we met, her name was Kitty, she said that her favourite job on the campus was to clean out these sanitary bases because you were inside, you had access to one of the holes to yourself and it was by far the best, one of the best jobs to have alongside clearing up dead corpses. cemetery and there's a lot of um, controversy around it because it was recently built a couple of years ago in order to remember the Holocaust um, victims however people some you know some people of different countries don't recognize it as a memorial site and others do but you know it can never please everyone but this site does represent the people who passed away here is the crematoria in Birkenau and this is the remains of it and it hasn't been touched, it hasn't been preserved in any way, this is how it remains and people were killed, people were killed and all, they were burnt, they were burnt, you know, they were burnt to ashes, alive, some even alive, some still half alive, some unconscious, some dead and the smell flew all the way to Auschwitz, like it blew there. People could see a glow as the trains were coming in, as they could see, you know, they saw their death. They knew their death. People in Auschwitz could smell the smell of burning flesh on their skin, on their clothes, and even on the bread that they ate. They knew what awaited them. So there was no hiding, there was no pretending. They would work day and night and they knew this, would, this, this was their fate, this was their fate. And the Nazis, they wanted to destroy the evidence. They wanted to make people believe that it never happened. But they failed. They failed. The 
just to show is that Germany it was more than just concentration camps that killed off many Jews. It was terror, it was mass murder, it was brutal and heartless. This is what Hitler and the Nazis did. They burnt people alive. These people, their only crime was being Jewish. If that happened in Nazi Germany, then what, what could happen today as a result of dictatorship? We all need to be really careful and not let this happen again.